right, here's the top five welterweight contender, Bilal, remember the name Muhammad. And I pause at calling him an overachiever, but there were a lot of people who didn't necessarily think that this man was gonna vault into the top five and be the factor that he has become in one of the UFC's deepest divisions. Well, when you're this committed, when you are so committed to your craft, and you have an iron will that you will be something special, you can accomplish anything. That's Bilal Muhammad. When you talk to him, you get a sense that this guy believes that he's the best in the world. He doesn't believe it. He applies the work ethic to it to make himself and give himself a chance. It has allowed for him to be exactly where he is today. And now he believes he might just be one win away from his first shot at the UFC title. We'll see how it goes for Muhammad tonight. Yes, he is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion, Leon Rocky Edwards. Obviously, there weren't many people picking him to beat Kamal Usman at UFC 278. But that fight was scheduled for 25 minutes. He needed all of them. He produced one of the greatest highlights in UFC history. He did. He needed 24 minutes and 30 seconds in order to become the champion. But he never gave up on himself. It seemed as though everything was trending in the wrong direction, and he got the job done. Leon Edwards is a phenomenal fighter. He's very well-rounded, and he's real big for the weight yes. class. And you see his physicality come into play in that first round against Kamaru Usman, taking him down and controlling him on the ground. Right. But tonight he has a different challenge. He doesn't have the guy that brings all the accolades. He has a young, hungry lion that's looking to knock him off the throne. And we will see how Leon handles this challenge, but of course, increased eyeballs on Leon Edwards given what he was able to accomplish in becoming the man at 170 pounds. And now our tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. All right, now with the official introductions, we go inside the octagon of Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this here is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC welterweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Bilal, remember the name, Muhammad! Now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world, Leon Rocky Edwards. The veteran Herbert Dino Ready. referee for this one. Ready. Good. All right, early round action here featuring the bona fide welterweight contender, Bilal, remember the name, Muhammad. Biggest key to his success of late, undeniably, has been the wrestling and the pressure game, the ability to impose his will on the ground. He has an outstanding top game, very good grounded pound, and I think when his submission offense gets to that next level, Bilal Muhammad's gonna start putting people away and maybe be fighting for the title before the end of the year. Nice punch there by Bilal Muhammad. The kick is there to the body. All right, nice early head kick for the champion. Massive, massive good play. And his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. Oh, big left hook there. Well, he was setting up the hooks early and often tonight. Watch for him to try to set it up again here. Oh, nice jab by Edwards. All right, so he finally gets the takedown here. He kept on trying, stayed committed. He told us before the fight, at some point, I'm gonna be able to take him down, and that's exactly the way it played out. Oh, he 
Goes back up again. You gotta like that. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. Something's done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Oh, big left. Kick there, blocked by Muhammad. You know, a lot of people say those don't land, but even if you block them a little bit, they still put damage on you. Oh, oh they hurt him again. Twenty-seven total strikes have landed for Leon Edwards. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned. Pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get him as often as you'd like, so when you get a guy hurt, you gotta find a way to finish the fight. Pretty good job blocking that attempt. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye. He landed it perfectly. Perfect placement, perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. Oh, huge kick to the leg. Outstanding back and forth first round. All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting it over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two is underway. Let's keep it Let's take this round Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Now he's masterful. Oh! oh what a fantastic takedown. Get him out here. Right now, it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He's securing that arm. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the outcome of show in that defense. Got to try to take his opponents back here, and he does. Oh, heavy Put shots down. raining down. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. That kick blocked by Bilal Muhammad. is about done. He's got him hurt very bad. Now he has to find one more strike in the night. Both fighters get up now. Just out of range with that right hand. Really smart approach by the offensive fighter, badgering that cut, more blood by the minute. If head movement wasn't important early, it's very important now. All right, so the ref has called a break to the action, and it likely means, yes, he will call in the doctor to look at that cut, which is just leaking all over the octagon. A lot of blood, John, but this is a fight. I mean, guys bleed, girls bleed. Uh -huh. It happens in a fight. These guys should be able to continue. Crowd wants the fight to continue, and it looks as though it will, but maybe stylistically might have to change some things and get aggressive because that cut's not getting any better. That cut is only going to get worse. Every time you get hit in it, it just gets worse and worse. He's gonna have to take some chances, try to end this fight right now. Slips to avoid that left. Oh, oh he is stunned, trying to recover here. All 
All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Muhammad's eye is starting to swell shut. 20 seconds to go round two. Nice body shot. Wobbly legs. Relax. All right, back to the stools we go, and that is a really severe cut, so we will monitor him between rounds as they furiously get the cut man in there. All right, well, defense wins championships, and perhaps he can shore some things up there. Here are some replays from the damaging previous round. Well, he's got to. He's got to change some things if he doesn't want this cut to get worse. But hats off to his opponent. His opponent found the target. His opponent knew exactly what he wanted to accomplish, and he got it done. He's got to continue down the path in order to make the cut worse. You ready to fight? Ready. Go All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. All right, so here we go. The crowd on its feet as this next round gets underway. You saw in the previous round, both fighters got rocked. I don't think the scorecards are going to be needed for this one. No, the scorecards will not be needed if we continue to fight as we did. And oh, my goodness! And back to his feet. Starting to bleed a little bit now. Oh, nice shot. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Oh! Inside low kick. Oh, he can't even stand. Just over three minutes to go. Throwing that jab yet again. Oh my God, it's hurt. It's hurt. Oh, 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 Leon Edwards has done it. Oh, oh my goodness. 